kids smile. It will light up their eyes because their best friend, this little cuddly barn animated plush animal, tells stories. It shares story time with your children. It's perfect for ages two and up. And not just one fairy tale, like sometimes, you know, toys will do. Not two, but five different fairy tales. We have it at a sale price of $28.56. It's on four easy payments as well. Um, and it comes from a company who has the best goal ever <laughs> for, yes. I've heard from anyone, Elizabeth Warner, and that's just to put a smile on your face. Right? So Cuddle Barn has been in business for 30 years, and that is their motto. It's what they live for. It's what they do. And their big goal is to put a smile on your mm. little one's face, and there could be nothing better than that. Right? Elizabeth Warner is a national toy expert. You see her on all the major daytime talk shows talking about what's hot and trend in toys, what your kids or grandkids are actually really going to like, so you don't have to guess and panic, are they going to love this? She does that work for you. So she Thank brought two you. choices. We had yes. three. These are the two that remain because it's been popular. We have our beautiful dragon, which I think is so cute. And this is so great because, I mean, you're talking unisex. We don't have to worry about boy That's girl right. here. There's your dragon. And we also have our wizardly owl. And they both have fantastic looks. But really, we'd love to show you the magic because they don't just sit there and stare. They actually interact with our little ones. So what we do is when we squeeze their feet, and we can do either the one on your lap or mine because we have a little extra assistance. I'll squeeze mine. They have okay. microphones on them so you can hear them oh, at home. Great. But I'm going to squeeze this left foot. I'm going to read you some of my favorite fairy tales. Are you ready? Let's get started. This one is called Hansel and Gretel. Once upon a time, a boy named Hansel and his sister Gretel lived with their father and stepmother in the woods. Their father was a poor woodcutter who loved them very much, but their stepmother was very mean and wanted to get rid of Hansel and Gretel. So well, this is just the first story, like you said, of five. And I'm noticing it's a child's voice, right? That's right. And they have done so much research into this, and children are much more drawn into story time and into anything when they hear another child's voice, just like they are when they see children's faces. So they can actually scroll through the five stories themselves by simply pushing a button on the foot. Jack and the Beanstalk. What else do you have going on? about a young girl with some very long hair. It's called Rapunzel. Rapunzel? <laughs> well, we know who that is. What's next? This one is about the ugly ducklings. The ugly ducklings. And by the way, as they Once scroll through these time, stories, there there's actually on the book duckling. here, it lists all the stories that there are, so they'll get to know them in order. Right now they're on the ugly duckling, but we can scroll through again. Tell you the story of Sleeping Beauty. So throughout these stories, what you're going to see is, first of all, the eyes light up. Yeah. This is the first time Cuddle Barn has created a little animal for us that is moving. The eyes are lit up. Beautiful. And now when it's dark in your child's bedroom at nighttime mm -hmm. and you're starting to cozy up, these lights are very bright. Now with our studio lights, they're not quite as bright as they will be in your home, <laughs> but they're going to be beautiful. The mouth is moving. And the head is moving. And it plays a little bit of the music in the background, which is what I like. So yes. it also, you know, be something to help drift, drift them off to sleep as what we know story time to do and we use for it, nap time or at bedtime. That's right, that relaxing, soothing storytelling. Look at those eyes. Uh, it's truly, truly remarkable. And I love that these are fairy tales that so many of us as parents and grandparents have grown up with. We know the stories. That's right. And we're passing them on down to generations. And it's just, I think it's a charming way of doing it instead of just, you know, it's always great to have books, don't get me wrong. Right. But to be so interactive, to have something that the kids can take on the plane with them, to daycare, can be their lovey, their, 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 their best friend that keeps them calm. Yes. Transitions of yes. sleepovers. And, and things like that, but also like 
teaching them about stories and, right. and relating and this is so great. Now my question to you is you yes. can scroll through to the different stories. But what if like we're in the middle of a story and the brother or sister comes barreling in the room and, yes. and disrupts? Can we pause? You can. The way we don't yes. miss it. So go ahead and on your on your owl. Why don't we play him and okay. I'll show you how to do that. So you're going to push that button. Hello there. I'm going to read you some of my favorite fairy tales. Are you ready? We're ready, yes. Mr. Owl. Get started. This one is called Hansel and Gretel. And I love, like you said, the music oh, yeah. in the background. A boy named Hansel and his sister Gretel. So now if you need to pause it, you can push that left foot again. Oh, I'm sorry. Push That's the, okay. Push the right the foot. The, the left foot Jack will pause it. Left foot pauses it. And if you hit it again, it'll start to play. Look so, at those eyes. Yes. Oh my god. So you can pause it and start it using the left foot. The right foot will be the foot that you can use to fast forward through the stories. And it'll show on the foot. It actually shows the play and the pause. Okay. And it shows the fast forward, little fast forward button. So that's your fast forward button. We all recognize that. And on this side, you've got your play and your pause. So this is when you talk about being designed for a two-year-old. Mm -hmm. It's safe. It's easy to utilize. It's soft and cuddly to the touch, and it's going to teach them lovely stories. Oh, now, now, what kind of do I need batteries? So they the come batteries with it, right? come with it. Oh, yes. Yeah. So it's three great. AA batteries, but it comes with it. So it's literally going to come ready to go. You have to, on the bottom, there's a little hook and loop closure. The only thing you're going to have to do is turn that on on mm -hmm. the bottom. Once you turn that on, very easy to do. You flip them back up, and even a little tiny one can push that play button. And so shall all and instantly the eyes light up the head i want you to know i'm not moving this guy he moves everything rocking kind of right and left what they said at cuddle barn is that's to help soothe the child first of all second of all as the head moves right and left it looks as if it's telling a group of children's stories the way a teacher mm -hmm. or maybe a parent would. Absolutely. So they're very deliberate in the movements being soothing and lovely and also to engage what considered to be eye contact with whichever children he's talking to. Oh, you know, we've brought these in for Christmas in July. 3,000 have been spoken for and over 100 just in our presentation. You're getting it at a sale price. Here's the great thing. If you order with a credit card, you can break up that price, pay over time. $7.14 a month. You'll have this paid off wow. when it comes time for Hanukkah or Christmas. And we do have a holiday return policy in effect. So please shop with confidence. If this wouldn't work out, you have the end of January of next year to return it. But look at that's what's going to happen in the back of the that's car. That's the magic. Or on the ride on the plane yes. or the train or just cuddle time yes. with you and your fi and, the, and, the, and the child that you love in life. And right. I love, right. you know what, Aww. almost like to the point where you could get to if you have two grandkids in the oh, same household, yes. one for each. My kids literally never left home without their favorite lovies, and they never slept unless they had one right by their side. So right? I think that these are the gifts that last forever. Uh, and who doesn't love Ooh. an owl? And I remember <laughs> uh, the magic dragon. That's right. Keith, that I grew up with, so yes. I love him too. So cute. Elizabeth.